This is my Lenovo Legion Go with a version of Linux installed on it called Chimera OS. Think Steam OS Community Edition. My first test video was done right after installing Chimera OS and it was okay. And now that I've had a little bit of time to cook with Chimera OS, I found out that it's not all that bad. And I'm willing to say it might already be on par, if not better than Windows 11. But don't just take my word for it. Let me show you what I got. All right, so let's go over some of the progress we've made so far. First off, I figured out how to transition between the different performance modes. And you do that by holding down the Legion button over on the left-hand side and pressing Y. You'll see the power button LED change based off the mode you're in. The purple LED is supposed to signify dynamic mode. So it tries to adjust the thermals based off what you're doing with the Legion Go. And holding down that same Legion button and pressing A brings up the right side menu. And from here, we can see some of the add-ons that I've added so far. Now check out this application I installed via the command line. It's called Deki. Deki is an open source application manager that gives you access to the Deki store. And in the Deki store, you can find and install other open source applications right onto your Steam Deck, which is a complete game changer when installing applications onto Chimera OS. You don't have to go into command line after that, you can just click and install. There were some applications that I saw on GitHub that I didn't see in the store, and to install those, I just installed the Deki terminal, and from here, I can type out the curl script to download and install the Deki add-on that I was looking for. And the application that I had to use the Deki terminal to install via command line was the Legion Go Remapper. This is the most important feature because it controls your RGB on your joysticks. No, I'm just kidding. Before installing the Legion Go Remapper, I couldn't use the touchpad on the Legion Go. And now, I have full mouse movement. Another cool Deki add-on that I installed, it's called the CSS Loader. This lets you customize all of the UI down to the volume bar. And as you probably know, Linux users love to rice out their desktops. If you know what that means, that just means customizing the way the UI looks. Some people try to go for a minimalistic approach. Others like the cyber deck look, but it's all about personalizing your UI to make Linux kind of your own. And here are all the CSS loader settings that I have right now. My main theme is called Art Hero, where I have the art as the main priority at the top. And then the games are kind of stuff down at the bottom. Auto flat packs is another cool application. If you don't know what flat pack is already, it's a Linux based package manager. So auto flat packs just keeps all your flat pack applications up to date. A few more noteworthy menus is the performance menu here. This is the overlay that you get for your performance metrics over in the upper left. As you notice in the left hand corner, when you change the overlay level, you get more information. I like to keep mine on two. It gives me enough information without clogging up the screen. And here are some more noteworthy performance options. Now enough of the boring stuff, let's play some games. All right, so we're gonna try borderless, 1080p, 60 frames, higher resolution textures, low shadow textures. You only have two options for these, by the way. This is what we got. We got 60 frames here. Look at that. Buttery smooth 60. This was not the case on the, uh, the first video. And it looks pretty good, I would say so. I know this game isn't that new. It came out on the PS4, but still, it looks pretty good on the Legion Go. All right, let's play a little Street Fighter 6. All right, here are our graphic settings for Street Fighter. We've got it on 1080. Is there no presets? Let's just try normal, normal, normal. Let's try that, see what we get. Oh, okay. That's pretty smooth. That's 60 frames. cutscene okay it dips a little bit but nothing like super noticeable and this is 1080 I could easily just knock it down to 720 and get a lot more consistent frame rate but I'm not really noticing it from the naked eye here just off the capture card yeah that looks fine to me 
Okay, now Pal World was a little bit different of a story. It ran pretty good on Windows, and it ran really poorly on the first try with Chimera OS, but that was because it was clocked down. Now that I've got everything clocked up, let's see how it performs now. So we've got it in windowed mode, we've got it on 720p, 60 frames, we've got everything on low to medium. Getting 50, 40, 50 frames. Let's just try low, the low preset. So that's pretty much what we had before. It's about 40 to 50 frames, sometimes dipping in the 30s. Definitely dipping in the 30s. Let's see. Let's try the very low preset. Okay, so very low we get, we can get 60 on very low. 50 and 60, drops down a little bit. Doesn't look awful. But let's see what we can get with 30 frames. Let's put it on 30 frames. And let's put it on, put it on high. See what we get. Yeah, we're not quite able to get 30 on high. A little ambitious, a little ambitious. Let's see if we can get a stable 30 frames on medium. Okay, this looks consistent. 30 frames on medium settings. I don't hate this. Now that it's stable and locked in at 30 frames, I don't hate this. A lot more ground clutter. Yeah, this is very playable. I really am enjoying Chimera OS so far. Just seeing how fast the open source community responded to it and now we have this already after a few months of just being released. I'm just excited for the future of gaming on Linux. Peace.